Back with the fourth and final segment of Corey and AJ's Degenerate School of Wizardry. Thank God you can call in. It's 920 corrupt or 920 678 267 678 7878. It's our show, and I have no idea what the fucking phone is. <laughs> These gentlemen. Nine nine two zero. He wants to corrupt call in. or nine two zero two six seven seven eight seven eight. And do not call in because the the if delay. you call here, yeah, you the fucking delay. asshole. Yeah. Yeah. You have a microphone. Why would I call in? Why it's would I call in? <laughs> um, we uh, these gentlemen went to uh, MegaCon, which we super exciting. What? I, okay, all right. Listen, Before we go any further, we, we hold did on. Not, we did not go to MegaCon. How do we get a press pass? That's what is what, what is it? What takes? I mean, here's the deal. You, we have to be on iTunes. That's the main thing. To get to a press pass? Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Well, I mean, we have to be an established uh, uh, podcast that, uh, that has numbers, and that's the only way to... How many numbers do you need? I mean, I don't know. It's important. The number factor is like important. Like, maybe 10? We got that. We got 10. Well, we got 10 you guys got days. it. You guys got yeah, it. Yeah, we're in. Well, here's the deal. We're also working on a very top secret uh, investigation piece that we're going to bring yeah. to the show. On bronies. The world that is bronies. And not just uh, we wanna, bronies. We want to be um, like uh, Chris. What is the name? Chris Matthews? We, we, we uh, Right? Chris Matthews to catch a brony is what we're gonna call this. <laughs> to catch a pony. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's what we want to call this. Can you uh, reiterate what a uh, brony is? Uh, okay. A brony is, is a um, male. A a male between age. eighteen to thirty five. That's who uh, is you know, target market. In, who is infatuated with My Little Pony? Oh, I actually know one of those. Oh, and what does he? But you didn't. He doesn't call himself a brony. Uh, not that I know of. I talked to his sister a lot about it because one time we walked in on him, actually with his dick in a pillow and watching My Little Pony in Japanese. Okay, so that's the fetish oh, that's aspect. Okay. That's that's yeah, the that got fetish. weird. That's well the, because that, that that was actually something I wanted to talk about. Japanese porn is real weird. Right, but this is not anime. This is My Little Pony. Well, it's at the same... Uh, hentai, have you seen? sorry, hentai. Oh, see, it takes a different turn yeah. there. Yeah, when it's anime yeah. porn, it's hentai. When it's just Japanese cartoons, it's anime. Yeah. Right. Well, we're talking about um, a, a a section of males that are mostly between virgin and, again, virgin. Here, here's the deal. And, and, <laughs> and, and, wait. And they believe in My Little Pony because what? the 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 channel the hub came out with a new My Little Pony. And I okay. think I think uh, Pugsley touched on something there when he said that uh, her brother was caught with his dick in a pillow. Yeah. Uh, yes, that's right, a dick in the pillow. Okay, so um, he was thinking he was fucking. When we are uh, the pony cloud, what mist? That that is part of the thing that is. Uh, that's a good spot. That uh, totally <laughs> that totally has us hooked with the whole brony thing because uh, anyone can go to the conventions. However, it is increasingly uh, more difficult apparently to participate in live action the, role playing. The larping. The larping. Okay. Of of a brony convention, and I kind of feel like there's a lot of dicks and pillows behind those locked doors. <laughs> yeah, like I kind of <laughs> feel like that's what's going it's on. It's a lot back of dicks there. and pillows, and a yeah. lot uh, like uh, four girls weirded out. Yeah, I'm just uh, <laughs> used to you know girls watching My Little Pony growing up, and when I right. when I b- besides the dick, new. let's besides the dick and the pillow and the pony on, I did catch him one time just hanging out eating his Cheetos. Uh, watching My Little Pony, and I asked his sister, why is he watching? He's like, he really loves it. I'm yeah. like, yo, but he's like 18. He's like, I don't know. He thinks they're magical. It's, uh, <laughs> and man, they I'm are. telling you, man, they are if, you, if you look at like a, like a flicker or a tumbler of a brony convention, is what it's called. Bronies are mm-hmm. these gentlemen that love the new My Little Pony on the hub. Uh, it is... Fruity as hell. <laughs> Absolutely. It might as well be gay days at Disney. <laughs> like, I think it's more gay than gay days at Disney. Yeah. And they are uh, the they are hardcore. They wear the, they get dressed up like their favorite. They should pony. call it like the in the closet convention. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, not so much in the closet. <laughs> in the I mean, closet, not so much in the closet because they're more there. like. Not like telling your family like con Broadway. in the, in the stable. <laughs> yeah. Now, how do the uh, <laughs> not telling your family question. yet con is the greatest name for it ever. <laughs> how do the bronies if they want to go together as like best friends and oh let's got a great idea let's uh, let's dress up like a the giant internet. pony. How do they decide who's the front of the pony and who's the back of the oh, pony? No, 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 that no, is no, another. No. That's this, this, is, this is what we're talking about. This is why we need to get into. We're trying to figure out the. the we're trying to hit. We're trying to answer the we hard questions. Get in there. We want to get in there secretly. I we think you guys need to dress up like a fucking giant that. pony. But but Deep not not a front and a back. You just you walk in, you in like a right. prony. Uh, yeah, like pony with a <laughs> like, <laughs> like standing <laughs> up, right? Yeah, or like, I think I would want to be a show pony. <laughs> the thought of that is actually really funny. I think I want to be a show pony though. So like when I go in, I'm doing like the the, the fancy trotting? walk. Yeah, the fancy walk and like the walking in a circle. <laughs> I'd be like that guy's serious. Yeah. Yeah. I want to be a competition. He's pony. hardcore. I want to be a competition. He knows all about the pony ways. The mini, the mini pony, like you're just trotting. <laughs> Like, oh, he's, Was that a joke? At movie, he about knows about short? real horse. The real brony here. Yeah. He's looking for a gold medal in the <laughs> pony Olympics. He's like, he knows about a horse or two. <laughs> Many bronies. Oh, well, shit. Good luck to that. Anyways, that's a, that's, any, a, that's any, our dream. So is to you guys, infiltrate. You guys went to MegaCon. Absolutely. Huh? And that, 2013. Uh, how was that? Nerdy. I went on Friday, the first day. Yeah. I had a great time. Did you get to sit on any panels? Uh, no, I didn't sit in any panels, but I did uh, get mocked for being a bearded fat Batman. Oh, yeah, some kids Were you dressed as Batman. Yes, Touché. absolutely. Touché. Well, then. I was straight, straight Batman. Then you should accept. I did. That's why <laughs> okay. I kept walking. Cause, but the guys were like, "No shit!" They literally went, "Wait a minute, Batman doesn't have a beard or <laughs> hockey pads." <laughs> and you and were not. <laughs> and you were wearing. Your Unfortunately, pads. I was wearing like an authentic Batman suit, but uh, I guess because of my build, it looked like uh, the fake Batman's wearing hockey pads. <laughs> and I should have uh, responded with, "I'm not wearing hockey pads." <laughs> no, but I failed. <laughs> I, I kind of punked out. I let the nerds win that one. Well, you and you should have also said, "Like I'm never holding a taco in one hand." <laughs> no, what you should have said was. Batman also doesn't have a dick this big. <laughs> uh, you're right. <laughs> that, that would have been the right answer. I wonder if we could like somehow incorporate the Batman with a brony. It's a dark s- steed. It'd be like, it would be. It would be. It'd be like. We can solve this through the power of rainbows <laughs> and friendship. <Yeah. laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kiss your cheek. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Your Batman voice is kind of scaring the shit out of me. <laughs> you kind of you kind of sound like the truck driver in that movie Joyride. What was his name? Oh, I haven't seen that movie. No, but he was like, Candy Cane. <laughs> it's me. I have it. <laughs> His butt's quivering. His butt's quivering. <laughs> His butt's hurting right now. <laughs> With his voice. Well, yeah, I had a, I had a great cold. time. I'm, I'm going to make your butt hurt. hurt. Good time. I did, uh, I got a sweet coming. Megacon shirt for donating blood as well. Oh, no shit. You yeah, did. it says Megacon 2013. Batman doesn't Wait, believe. It doesn't say blood giver or something? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot. It also says blood donor on the bottom. <laughs> Okay. There's a big world with a lot of little Jesus anime Christ. kids drawn on the side, really happy, and then it says Megacon 2013 blood donor. That's a that's the shirt Along that is given the, to every Asian signs. when they're born. Well, I am an honorary Asian, <laughs> and somehow my numbers just went up in math. Exactly. <laughs> Unless you're worthless. Unless you're one of the worthless ones. That's that is correct. So cleverly Touché, put it sir. earlier. Touche. So, what was the coolest thing you guys saw at Megacon? Coolest Patrick costume. Stewart. Lou Ferrigno. Lou Ferrigno. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the original uh, Boba Fett and Darth Vader. Oh, shit. No kidding. Costumes. Costumes, though. No, no. Uh, I'm uh, talking about actors. No, I'm saying. Actors. Okay, yeah. Coolest what, costumes. Oh, costumes. Yeah. What, were, yeah, what was your favorite fan costume? Uh, it was a girl in a bikini that's, that's wearing really a uh, Stormtrooper mask. Oh, okay. God. Actually, uh, I'm it down. was um, the Death Predator from Silent Hill. Okay. Oh, you saw him, too. <laughs> yeah, he was like a giant guy wearing the God. the Death Predator 
Head. It's actually a pyramid head. Pyramid, pyramid head, yeah. He was actually on stilts. Yeah. Oh, that's I have a sick. sweet picture yeah, of him was. next to me. That dude, that was awesome. Yeah. Uh, mine would have to be between the female Bane that I saw and uh, this uh, really Fem- wait, very... Time out, time out, time out. Female Bane? Yeah, Please apparently couples, that. a lot Sorry, of couples go together. <laughs> but uh, there was a lot of male Batman figures and then at least two females dressed up as Bane. And sucking their dicks. For, for the most part, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, the way it should have been. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, did you guys you part- come over here and suck my dick, baby? <laughs> did, did you guys? I've always wondered what would break first, your nut or your spine. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, was the same question I was asking them. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> that was good. What's gonna break first? So, um, oh god, I had a question, and then you just totally fucking made, you made me laugh. a good joke. You totally, totally <laughs> threw me off. Um, shit. You Bane go, Bane AJ. Ask him a question. Uh, do you like fat girls? Uh, oh, no, that was where... <laughs> no. I'm glad you brought that up. I, so I, I heard uh, through the grapevine, a.k.a. the radio, that they had speed dating going on. Did you guys see that at all? My buddy told me the next day there was, and I wish that I would have known because I've always wanted to try it, let alone with a bunch of horny virgins. That's what I'm talking about. Like, yeah. I, I heard that. They were probably so. looking for, like, the most hottest nerd there, and I think I would have won. Batman with uh, a beard. I would have killed you, probably. Uh, what were you going to dress up as? I was going to dress up as a dude that's had pussy before. <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, Sid <laughs> you would have been the only person there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Me. And you would not have they been recognized. Have no one would have known what you were (laughs) (laughs) exactly oh wait a minute i just set myself up (laughs) both of you i just laughed at the fact you both laughed and agreed (laughs) but i do but not at megacon Uh, here's my me and Corey have this theory that we could walk in Mm -hmm. and be uh cool dudes that know nerd shit but you don't. And I, take <laughs> shifts in pussy. Yes, I, I do. I did that. I did that two years ago, Who's and the, first doctor the pussy magnet on that was a lot bigger than me actually going to dress up as a fat Batman. Oh, when you dressed up as fat Batman, yeah, it was yeah. better. No, no. Uh, when I went in as just uh, the pugs. Uh, yeah. When said, I first that's, when that's I first exactly, got to right? when I first got to hang out at MegaCon and hang out at the Troma tent where Lloyd Kaufman was at, uh, I got a lot of pussy. Huh. From Much Lloyd respect. Kaufman, yes. <laughs> his his aura, like because of how big he is, he's as such a, a nerd, weird dude. His too. aura, Lloyd Kaufman is such a weird fucking he's, guy. He's a cute little vegan old man. Yeah, that uh, he's just he's great. He is the horror movie Woody Allen. Actually. That's, that's exactly such a good comparison. Some point. That's stupid true. Jokes. It's the stupid except jokes. for. You know, the original Spock, he's the biggest tour of the Star Trek convention. He was there. This is as good a time as any to end this show, Corey. Oh, uh, well, I, okay. I just had, I don't know. Okay. I, I, you got I, more I'm, questions? Well, I'm just curious about, like, the whole experience. Like, when, like... Did you have a boner? Um... No, I get a boner the whole time. Here, here's my question: Did you <laughs> did, did you get did you uh, take any uh, pictures with people walking Absolutely. around? Absolutely, that's like a yes. big thing, right? Absolutely, this, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, people always be like, "Can I take your picture?" Or you want to stop them? Can I have your picture? Some people look better than some others. And oh, you, you wanted want that though. You wanted ones. fat Batman pictures. Well, huh? I got a few. Yeah. I got some really good ones. Sometimes yeah, I got some great fat Batman uh, pictures, especially when. Uh, Got a picture of my tight actually split over my thigh. <laughs> uh, I was just from walking. It was just from walking around too. It wasn't even like fighting crime. <laughs> just walking in my my fat Batman suit split at the seam over my thigh. I have a picture of that. Hey, my my stormtrooper costume actually ripped too. I know what you're talking about. All right, then I'm happy to hear that it's not a fat person thing. No, it no happens it's just to a everyone. fucking nerd it, thing. It it's what it is. Every, man. Every costume hero on yeah. the internet. Why don't you go to uh, the next horror convention dressed as uh, Sid Haig? Why don't I? Because you already do look like him. So so you'd have to you'd you have to go to... you'd have to go as something else so no one thought you dressed up and wouldn't <laughs> get any pussy at the horror like convention. I guess I'd have to dress like AJ Davis. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, uh, no one I hope you include that. the uh, Mickey Mouse ears. On that one. Hey, I will. <laughs> I can't believe. This, I'm gonna come uh, back. Airline. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna come. 
I'm going to give the next Megacon as a uh, black female Walt Disney. That is a great idea. <laughs> and the best part is, is that you can do that. <laughs> yeah. They will and they will greatly appreciate it. And I, I see a lot like, of pictures in your future. I think that you would get like most it's, of the people stopping you to get your picture with because of the fact that who you are and what you represent. It's basically you dressed you represent the black as, side as, uh, as Marilyn Manson side. from when he researched <laughs> black. Okay? A black Manson? Black Marilyn Manson from when he researched and was wearing that suit. In cartoon form? Yeah. And then he has a Hitler mustache on. And that's like it. A... That's that's all this costume consists of, is Corey as black uh, cyborg Manson huh. body, and Hitler mustache. <laughs> Sounds like something out of Cool World. <laughs> it does. I I would totally wear that. <laughs> okay, okay so uh, being and we'll let you wear. It ne- ne- never Corey been <laughs> never being to one of these events. Um, so you have. Uh, panels which take places in like ballrooms right yep, yeah. uh, and then outside they just have like booths like people like sitting and signing autographs and stuff you've been to, well, you've they, been to one they right they kind of no. have like an open con- convention floor okay where you're allowed to, to go through line. the booths like of the comic and the manga the fuck is manga distributors anime. manga is just anime Japanese don't don't comics. just anime okay. but it's read yeah. backwards don't forget that. As a regular book, you would open from left to right. Yeah. A manga is actually from right to left. Everybody knows the pale girl from high school that read <laughs> manga. mangas. Yeah. I think everyone knew her. And somehow and, she grew and, up to and, be a doctor and, and everyone else Somehow was a they, <laughs> they also knew your, Brian. Your booths are correct. <laughs> and in your booths, you can actually also find uh, awesome antique toys that you can't get around anymore. Uh, a lot of toys. Horror movie shirts. A lot of toy stores are, are there. Uh, any, comic book any collectors. Any type of shirts. Like, <clears throat> yeah. if you're a Game of Thrones fan right. or a Big Bang Theory fan, uh-huh. like, they have your shirts. Yep. I get you. Absolutely. So it's Topics. If you're so looking, Target. Yeah. Well, hey, I heard, hey. I heard they... they a lot more in-depth. I heard that, that some celebrities actually charge that. No, not some. All. Oh, really? <laughs> all of them charge. Uh, they, what's that, and what's and that, that kind of sucks, down, except... Yeah. Uh, Lloyd Kaufman, man, I've I've said his name twice. I'm not trying to it's like, not, no, I'm not no, trying to promote no. trauma anyway. But he like, Lloyd doesn't. Kaufman is the only is the only famous star there. If you know him, and if you know, if you ever want to go meet him when he's there, he does not charge to hug him, talk to him, get autographs, Seriously? pictures, or anything. Uh, and he stands on. outside of the booth and he just hangs out the whole time. And sometimes he'll let you dress up like Toxie or Sergeant Kabuki, depending on what costumes are there. My question is that um, is the truth. You, you just blew my fucking well, mind. Well, what do you man. think happened? My first. This is why I got laid. I got so much pussy the first year I went to MegaCon because when I went to meet with Lloyd, I got to dress up like Sergeant Kabuki Man. I'm just throwing that out there. So, my question is, they charge for hugs? Uh, Lou Ferrigno charged forty dollars for an autograph, forty dollars for a picture with your camera or his camera. He charged extra for a chokehold, and the DVD signed by him was thirty five. The man next to him, for the most part, which was the original Darth Vader, he was also charging forty. The original Boba Fett was charging forty, and all the panels from Star Trek are about forty to fifty dollars per crazy. autograph, uh, picture taken, or anything like that. Was Reading Rainbow there? LeVar yes, he Bird? was. Uh, Lavar Burton yeah. was there. I do have an autograph from him, <laughs> and it did cost me fifty-five dollars. I uh, <laughs> just for the autograph, what and I had to bring my own picture. What? what do you think you said that? Uh, the first time I met him, which was the first MegaCon I went to two years ago, I told him, thank you for reading Rainbow. I don't think he really liked that. Really? But funny Actually, thing this that, year... That's so funny because <laughs> I, I have a signed like, photocopy of his first day at reading Rainbow. <laughs> and I got him to sign it. And he was like, I'm so impressed that that's awesome. you want to... Of my many fans would bring me a reading rainbow because they're all like, "Oh, Lavar Burton." Yeah, the and this year it seems like that's awesome that you have an authentic uh, reading rainbow picture because this year they had about twenty uh, pre-made reading rainbow pictures, which was just him in the in a and just chilling out in the park with the tree behind him, being all <laughs> wholesome and black, no and like you know, no Star Trek it shit. Teeth are so white. He wasn't even holding a book. Yeah, the irony in that is. He had no book. It was reading Rainbow. There should have no book. Maybe they should have put like a blunt in his hand or a joint. Like that would have been kind of.
interesting like, <laughs> the, the way he really is but i do have to stress the fact that patrick stewart was at megacon that's awesome and being pat captain picard yeah that was Don't like look. epic he was also the first one to. Leave. I heard that he still looked exactly the same as he did when he was on the air. He, like he hasn't aged I mean, at all. He, he, he left before. He like, has the same aging structure as Keanu Reeves yeah. and like um, uh, the first Christopher uh, Walken. Christopher Walken's and <laughs> those guys um, age so well. Uh, <laughs> Actually, Chris, Connery. Christopher Walken's not looking so hot these days. We, we can kind of change him? it, right? We could say eight uh, white people age so you well. Know, <laughs> white people never age. Even Megacon's just not about uh, cosplay, which is uh, what they what's that's the defi- that's the term they use when you want to dress up as characters. I get a boner for that. Okay. Is cosplay? Uh, if you're into uh, if you're into basically yeah, weaponry of like medieval times or any type of sweet movie that you see, you're like oh man, I wish I had that weapon. You can get it at Megacon. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> so. Um, do people walk around in groups together? Or is it kind of like yeah, just like oh, well, like what I'm saying is like you like been there. Ste- I like can't believe steampunk it. kids. Yes. Like, oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, they. Tra- yeah. Yeah. Did you see the guy that had uh, Corey, that I'll tell you this. They I they travel them. as costumes. Oh my god! You know what? They, they travel as a costume. That's okay. the only way. You like, want to know what? They won't oh. venture off. Like if uh, you're dressed as Mario, mm-hmm. Luigi. And Peach and Toad and fucking uh, shy guys from Part Two and are all are... fucking following you behind you, yeah. like Hammer Brothers. Yeah. Oh, dude, if, they're, if, they if, if there was was really anime, bringing it back. Like a popular anime, there was people in like groups. Cowboy of Bebop. Yeah. Cowboy There's... Bebop, Naruto, One what? Piece. Just go to Final Fantasy for, X. For all there's, you... Uh, there's a fucking Final Fantasy X crew that hangs out. That's cool. Sailor Moon was the crew. All the Sailor Moon girls were hanging out there. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Not angry, to mention two angry, of them... Angry, yes, Lussie. two of them... Beautiful. Yeah, two of them did gain some weight. But mm-hmm. then again, it is, you know... It, it is, is anime. Let me, I know. let me ask a question. That is right. So, do they have like, uh, like competition? You know, like at, at tattoo conventions, no. you walk around and people can get tattooed and whatnot. <laughs> and then, like towards the end, they have like uh, competition pieces. Uh, and then there's like a judging panel. Do they do something like that for people who dress up? Yes. At, like, yeah. Is there really? Yeah. They, That's they cool. actually have a three hour like judging session. Yeah. For everyone that wants to bring a costume in. Cool. Like, it doesn't matter if you're a stormtrooper all the way down to Monkey D. Luffy. From now, Monkey I've D. also... I've all, you, would, you would win if you were the scone trooper. I that went over my head. That's a fucking funny <laughs> joke. It's I'm just sorry. a play on the word storm. Okay. I'm saying you gotta have... Like, you can't just be a stormtrooper when you go into that costume contest you gotta be like you're like oh um i'm chewbacca if Mm. chewbacca uh participated (laughs) in the shutdown of they can call uh, me they can call lion what is (laughs) food lion chewless like if i shut hey i'm chewbacca on the last day of food lion my 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 name would be Chewless Baca. Yeah, because I have no. That's good. Yeah. That's good. You'd be like the only Harris Chewbacca there. Uh, bald Baca. Yeah. I met. No, I that did, would be me. I'd I be. met Barf, by the way. Did you really? From Spaceballs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which I would have never thought I would have ran into a Spaceballs character, which Barf was there. That's cool. Which makes me want to dress up and get a crew together. Yeah. And dress up like Spaceballs people. You met him, and I love how he was like. I'm Barf. Yeah. I want to be... a man dog. Do you yeah. know who I am? I'm my own best friend. Please. Yeah. No, really... no, no, no. Wait a second. Wait a second. You didn't meet John Candy. No. Of course not. He's dead. No, no. John okay. Candy's dead, yeah. Then what I'll the show you the picture. What the fuck are you talking about? Someone dressed up as... Like, oh, someone okay. Dressed up as oh, you so didn't recognize him? No, yeah. Of course I did. I turned oh, around. Oh, That's... Okay. I was... Well, the... I mean, a guy in a jumpsuit... Dressed as okay. like half awful. man, half dog. How much He's money barf. do you think that some people put into these outfits? Because some of them are very extravagant. It looks like. Um, yeah. Like I, I, I am a member of the five hundred first stormtrooper division. Okay. <laughs> like I spent eleven $1, hundred dollars on my costume. Okay. But um, 
How much was the gun? Or was that that's complete package? That was a complete package, not including the gun, the helmet. Now, I everything. heard that those, those Stormtrooper uniforms are made over in Europe because they can't make them here in the States. Is that true? Um, it depends. Like, technically, in the United States, you're not allowed to make them. So, so if you have one built here in Canada, Canada. Why? If, they built, if you bought they one here. They can't make Stormtrooper armor in the United States. Um, because of the copyright Technically, co- it's a copyright, copyright of because of why? George Lucas Arts. Oh. And he actually copyrighted um, the Stormtrooper like outfit in the 1970s when he came out with the original. So, um, most... Stormtrooper outfits are actually made not in the United States. Yeah, but they're not made in China either. I saw I saw some special on Dateline about this one guy in particular who's been making Stormtrooper uh, costumes since the '80s or whatever for these cons, and uh, he makes like a big mil- ass dick and a whole lot of money. Yeah, he made he he makes since over. He's a, been doing it for a, a while. A million dollars a year doing that. Oh and yeah, he just like, makes costumes. Um, because he's got he's got old school value to him, right? Like yeah. people are like, well, oh, if you're gonna get it, get it from Creepy first, Jake. We have 1,100 members. Mm-hmm. Each person has to dress up as a sure, Star but... Wars character. Right. We have 500 Star Troopers. That's crazy. What's the most common uh, uh, outfit that you see? Is it like a Jedi or what's the what's or maybe a Star Trek? member what's the most common what is your dream costume that you want to see we'll say we'll take what about biggest titty bitch big fat ass in a costume just give me one all right um the most common uh star wars that we see is normally like a jedi like a master jedi okay Um, not a bikini leia the most Desirable no. is that the original were. bikini Leia. Mm-hmm. That is like, um, she's, she's I know a up. couple of friends that dressed up as bikini Leia and had Boba Fett chain her around. What, what is and, your nerdiest thing you'd like to see in a bikini, Corey? Uh, that uh, animated series from back in the day, uh, Eon Flux. Neon Flux, what was yeah. it? Aeon, Aeon, Aeon Flux, Aeon yeah. Flux. Aeon yeah, Flux. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'd like to see that. Because I, you know, uh, that's you know one of my many uh, types is the tall, thin chick for whatever reason. The, I like you love I like Lara Croft. I like, a, uh, I like a tally. You like Lara Croft, don't you? Yeah, that's There's all right. A few of those. But I'm not a fan yeah, of Angelina Jolie, so that killed it for me. No, no, no. I'm talking about that, original no, no, Lara no, Croft yeah, with the. Yeah, yeah. Giant K titties. Oh, yeah. and it, like, K titties. <laughs> she's jumping. <laughs> she's jumping through mummy traps. Yeah, with K titties. <laughs> she's fine, right? She got those big her arms guns are straight up, <laughs> and she's like, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. P- pixelated nipples. Yeah. Well, well, <laughs> gentlemen, I'd like to thank you very much for stopping by tonight and hanging out with us, man. You guys were a good time, and uh, thanks for all the MegaCon info. I am definitely going. In the next one, you down? Yeah, I've, t- I've yeah, already been down. to one. You guys I know, I'm just saying, we like, have to get a we have I say, to get press pass. I say we go three all three days. We press interview passes. crazy press all passes. Three days. Yeah. Okay, all three press days. Press pass. And hey, yeah. what about uh, what about the after party? I heard there's the like they, shit. they do like a massive like. Saturday, I know Pugsley's been there. Saturday. Uh, Saturday night was the the villains ball. Okay. Where uh, they had a giant costume contest. It is 21 and up. Yeah. So party. the beauty of that is the dress code is basically nearly nothing to everything <laughs> right. but you come dressed as the best villain it was a villain party so all the villains from batman were all there just uh, and jafar's face they got, on my balls they got liquor they got beers <laughs> they got uh go-go dancers they got it all and everyone and you know all these people they come into town and got hotel rooms yeah man. so it's time to bring and, it and, I got to do. And, and sunday is the star wars reunion ball and that is sick like, eh? Get up oh, on yeah. the microphone. Right on. That, that's basically like the best day to go is Saturday. Like you get to see all of the people. So this is what we do, man. All the after parties. Next year we go to all three. We go to the parties. Press we interview. Is we, all we yeah, yeah, yeah. Do. Okay, okay. We press pass crazy. We do mad interviews. We do the parties. We do the whole deal. And then uh, we bring that to the show. We can do multiple parter. But uh, okay. 
from uh, Runway A38 Studios here in beautiful Orlando, Florida. This has been episode 17. Don't call us eggplants and... My pants? No, there's a zombie movie in my pants. There's a zombie movie in my pants and uh, easy to hate, impossible impossible not not to love. love. It's been Corey and AJ's Degenerate School of Wizardry. Thanks for tuning in, guys.